Here's how to blend your image to a background on Canva. So you can design something like this. Create a blank canvas for 1080 by 1080. Now let's bring in a photo. You can either upload your own photo from here or you can bring in a photo straight from Canva. Here's a photo I chose from Canva for this example. Now let's remove the background. So if you have Canva Pro, click on image, edit image, and then you'll have something called background remover. If you don't have Canva Pro, try it on screen. It does the same thing for free. Now that I have my photo background free, let's bring in a cool photo for the background. Click on photos, click purple or purple brick and choose whatever you like. If you don't have Canva Pro, make sure to click on filter and only filter for free images. Now choose whatever you like. I'm going to select this one and then click on the three dots and then you're going to select set image as background. Now before we do anything, we want to make sure we lock that background in. So you're going to click that and then you're going to click on the three dots again and then click lock. Make sure you don't forget to do this step because otherwise things get moved around and it gets really annoying. Okay, now let's bring in another photo to blend into this design. Click on photos and select another nice background that you like to use. I'm going to choose this one with this funk effect because I think that looks pretty cool. Now I want to make sure that this background image sits behind my photo. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on that three dots and then go to arrange and then say send backwards. So that way my profile photo is on top of my background. Now drag from the corners to scale your background to the canvas size. And now you're going to click on transparency and then bring the transparency down so that you can see the brick image underneath it. So you're basically turning down the opacity of this overall look. Now let's lock it in so it doesn't move anywhere. So right click lock. All right, I'm going to scale this up a little bit like that. And now you're going to go to elements and then you're going to type in gradient. There are a lot of gradients you can choose from. There are like the pro versions and the free versions. For this example, I'm just going to choose this one right here. All right. So when you bring in your gradient, you can actually change the color of the gradient. So first, let's just position it right there. And then you're going to go to the uh, color tab right like that. And then choose whatever color you like. Because my background is purple, I chose a purple color. And now it's just like scale it up or down depending on how your design looks. And now let's duplicate it. So click on the gradient, click on that uh, box with like the plus sign to duplicate it. And as you duplicate it, you can see how it like blends in. So repeat this a couple of more steps to make sure that harsh line is completely gone. So I repeated the steps and this is my final look. Now that looks way too purple for me, so I'm going to have like a nice pink blend to it. So I'm going to click on the top of duplicated layer and now I'm going to change the color to pink. So I'm going to go and click here and then choose pink. And voila, that looks nicely blended exactly how I want it to look like. Okay, now let's add some cool elements to this design. Now go to the elements tab and you're going to type in neon star. There's a lot to choose from, so choose whatever you like. I'm going to choose this one because I think that really matches my design. All right. Let's place it over here because I think that looks really good. I'm going to just rotate it like that and then duplicate it and bring one to the other side. But this time, let's make it a little bit bigger like that. Okay, now it's time to add some cool neon text to this design. Are you ready? Okay, here's how to do it. Go to text, add a headline, and then type in whatever you like. For this example, I'm just going to say Britney Spent. And now you need to increase the font size and here's an easy way to do that. So you're going to click on the font size here and then you can type in whatever number you want. I'm going to say 85, but I just realized that's a little bit too big. So now you can scale the font like that. And now let's change the style of the font. So you're going to click here and then choose whatever you like. For this example, I'm going to choose a font called Brightwall. Now you can move the font around to position it in your desired location. And then let's add that neon effect. So here's how to do it. You're going to click on the effects tab right there. And then you're going to select neon. So click on neon. And then once you do that, you should have something that looks like this. Now let's change the color of that. Um, so I'm going to choose pink because I think that's a very good color that will complement my design. So click pink. And now you see how that's very bright. So click on effects again. And then this time under neon, increase the intensity all the way to 100. And once you do that, you should have a nice balanced look like this. Now, in order to do your final edits, make sure you position your text in your desired location on your design. And then once you're happy with how everything looks, click share and then download as a PNG. Hope this is helpful. Make sure to follow me for more.